Hey there, so today we have another beer talk and uh, we're talking about the closing of Anchor Steam. So uh, before I, I go into that, um, this is also a video that actually necessitates a uh, obviously a new mic, so you guys let me know how that goes. And then also, obviously I've also changed the angle on the, um, on the, on the camera. Um, it used to be further back and lower, sort of at the end of my table. Now, now I've shortened the tripod and put it on the table. Um, I've noticed like a lot of like videos in general, like even, even like um, Joe's uh, RK beer reviews and just in general, a lot of content creators, like it's just a little closer. Like I feel like whenever I, I shoot my videos, I'm like all the way far apart. I'm across the room from you guys. I don't know if it's better if you guys prefer me a little bit closer to you guys. Um, I, I just, I just know it just seems better. And then again, I haven't really watched this video yet. So I guess you guys will see. So we're talking about um, Anchor. So in, in 2018, I believe, um, Sapporo actually bought Anchor. Um, Anchor is actually a historical brewery, at least for the U.S. Um, they list it as the oldest craft brewery in the country, even though I thought it was Yingling. But anyway, some Google searching, some research can um, answer that very quickly. Anyway, very old brewery. We're talking about 1850s, right? So um, personally for me, like I guess like you know, just the hot takes, like, wh like why am I doing the videos? Obviously, you guys care about my opinion sometimes. Um, personally for me, Anchor is not like a huge like nostalgic brand. Um, it's definitely more of like a like old older brand for sure. Obviously, um, I'm not like I live on the East Coast, so like we Anchor was always available. Like it was always around. Um, obviously, based out of San Francisco, like literally the brewery to do. Um, yeah, they, they they even have it on G BJCP as California Common because I guess Steam Beer is um, trademark uh, copy uh, written uh, trademarked by anchor so it's like anchor steam ideally on bjcp would just be called steam beer because you know literally that's like the history of the beer the history you know, blah 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 back in the day they, they were trying to make beer and obviously in, in order to a uh, cool work um there are different ways to do it the easiest for them was to cool the work on top of the brewery and so you had the steam coming out you know in san francisco um you know gold rush days blah blah, blah uh western expansion manifest destiny all that fun stuff so we're talking to old old brewery but um yeah, it, 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 it's it in the larger picture is very sad, right? Like we're talking about like the death of craft, which I did a video about where a lot of the large breweries are all gone now. We talked about um, literally it's like the largest guys here in Nevada and then a lot of the large top 10, top 15, top 20 brews have either consolidated or been sold out. A lot of the legacy brands that um, got me into craft beer. Um, Anchor was always around, but again, never huge Anchor. Like it, it's just in New York. I mean, like it, it just a brand like Anchor is not going to like be as... Um, local and um, prevalent as like you know brews that I, when I got into beer like Six Point and Brooklyn Brewery and Ithaca. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking about those specifically at least. But anyway, those are more local brands, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I definitely have had my fair share of like you know Anchor Steam and even the Liberty Ale, which is something that I even like. I remember specifically finding out like a bodega in like Bushwick and like, you know, hanging out with friends. I mean, yeah, obviously, it was in the craft beer. I was like, oh, I'm trying Liberty Ale, oh, uh, which is arguably like the original I, uh, IPA. Um, and then like Anchor Porter was one of the first dark beers that I actually got into. Never again as fan, but Anchor Porter really got me into it. And then I sort of found out later I didn't really like Anchor Porter that much anymore. And then like um, a few batches of like the Christmas Ale. I wish I bought more because in the last couple of years, I really got into that beer and like one year it blew me away. Um, but yeah, it's very unfortunate. Again, this is, you know, not specifically a video about like, you know, my nostalgia about um, Anchor, but more specifically about like, that's, that's man, that's another big guy that's gone, you know? Again, <laughs> we're literally left with like, it's sad, but to like see on my beer shelves, well, obviously like when I go to Total Wine, it's gonna be a little bit different, but like literally if I go to like a decent retailer, I mean, Cigar City's gone. So it's like, like I literally think the big brand out there would be Sierra Nevada that is still independent and then like everything else is sold out or it's too small to you know to, to be carried at most stores and and just you know so um wow another one gone and it's actually pretty crazy because like to think about it like I mean I look I was just curious and looked at some numbers like support uh support bought uh anchor for, <laughs> it's actually funny 85 million dollars which is like it seems like drops in a bucket compared to like you know the ballast point purchase for a billion the the lagunita sale for 500 million um however many hundreds of millions they they sold dogfish head and um stone for and then like <laughs> anchor again like a pretty decent size. we're talking about a brewery that like literally like 
I assume crushes a lot of tap handles on the West Coast, and even I, I see I, I, I've seen it in my, mar- my markets. And then like fifty state distribution, right? Like like we're talking about a decent size, very you know under hundred million dollars. Wow. And then like for a company like Sapporo, which generates like I think like three to four b- b- billion in uh, revenue, it's like you know like points to them. But I'm just surprised such a big company um, can, can't like turn around that brand and like do something more with it and just shut it down like five years after purchase right like i guess six years five, five or six years after purchase um but then again it, it sort of goes the other way if you're such a big company like why bother trying to like spend more money and see something that could be sunk loss just get rid of it like we're just gonna liquidate and sell it and who cares like we don't even want to bother be bothered with this brand anymore because um after the purchase obviously COVID happened and then like just plummeting plummeting uh sales of um again 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 we're talking about like so Another thought I also had was that a lot of these brands, uh, even the sold out ones and, and, and older brands, have sort of like, uh, what's we're looking for, like, um, um, rebranded, rebranded and, and stayed relevant, right? Uh, New Belgium, which is like known for Fat Tire, they completely changed Fat Tire. But even before that, they got into Voodoo Ranger and weren't relying on something like Fat Tire. Um, founders, um, not relying on like, like Dirty Bastard and, and, and Breakfast Out, they found All Day, right? All Day suddenly became like 60% of their portfolio. Uh, finding that niche of like an under five percent like a hoppy beer that just crushed uh firestone walker um you know didn't rely on like their ipa brands and stuff like that instead they went with 805 and completely almost made like a second brand which completely dominated portfolio i think majority of what firestone walker makes is now 805 um sierra nevada even sierra nevada could could have just sat there and rested in their laurels and and stayed with uh, Sierra Nevada Pale, sort of like Anchor Steam, looks like you know flagship, like you know Sierra Nevada Pale for Sierra Nevada, and then Anchor Steam for Anchor. Um, instead, they 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 brewed up Hazy Little Thing, right? And that is their number one brand. If anything, like here, like I think actually now replacing uh, Sierra Nevada Pale is like their number one brand, Hazy Little Thing. You know, just everywhere. Um, so there's certainly brands that just sort of like found ways to um, innovate and you know build a brand that sort of during that peak right that 2012 to sort of like i don't know when the dip was but like let's say like 2012 to 2018 2012 2018 there's a huge like the graph just goes like this the amount of craft beers or sorry this way <laughs> the amount of craft beer uh, brews that opened up in this country and then the anchor sort of had just stuck with like what like the christmas ale the porter and the steam right and then actually i will say i did find a few brands like i actually had reviewed like they, they i think they did try to rebrand they tr- did try to like innovate and, and make some new beers but i i don't think any of those caught on like i think i reviewed a couple of those they were doing hazy ipas they're doing blah blah, blah. Was, like all kinds of like like you know crazy stuff that like you know other breweries are doing in cans but um i don't think they caught on so uh, very unfortunate to see a legacy brand like uh, Anchor go away. Uh, fingers crossed that someone at least buys like their IP. At least, like you know, even if you don't buy the facility and like make beer out of Anchor, at least ideally, like the recipe lives and they can like somebody still making Anchor Steam, right? Because like when that beer goes away, like how does the BJCP like like literally if if if, if, if Anchor Steam stops getting produced, how do you justify um, uh, Steam beer or uh, sorry California comment on BJCP, right? Like it's just like it's like it, it, i mean um what, what's what's yeah and uh, do you know what a good analogy is like how, how would you geez, what is analogy? let's say you had a book about burgers and one of the categories was whopper and then like burger king just stopped existing well if burger says like, burger king stops existing and doesn't make whoppers what is a whopper anymore right like what's a steam beer if anchor steam to stop making steam beer what's a california common if um anchor stops making steam beer right um but anyway, that's my thoughts. Post the comments below. Uh, and again, uh, feedback on the mic and this angle and all that stuff would be highly thankful. Thank you so much. Um, you guys, post in the comments below about your, your stories about Anchor and what you think about the nostalgia and what importance uh, that brewery uh, gives to you. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.